The final touches are being put on Art Basel tonight. The annual event draws more than 50,000 visitors and more than 250 of the world's leading galleries. It puts South Florida at the very center of the international art world. CBS 4's David Seta is live at Art Miami, one of Art Basel's satellite shows, to talk about the business of Basel and how it benefits a lot of people in this community. David? Absolutely. In fact, Art Miami is a great example of what's been happening here. Four years ago, Art Miami did not exist. This building wasn't here. These artists weren't showcased. All the jobs in this building didn't exist. It all thrives because of Art Basel's success. At Opalaka Airport, the private jets are lining up. And outside the American Airlines Arena, past the locals, super yachts are pulling in. This yacht is a dinghy, considering it parked next to the 332 foot Atessa 4, worth $250 million, or five times what the most expensive property in Miami would go for. What's going on? Money is coming to Miami for Art Basel. Hard to imagine in 2002, a Swiss art show would have such an impact. What we need is a, a venue where we can bring people from all over the world. Fast forward 13 years, Basel has changed Miami's art scene. We were growing as a community, culturally and art-wise, but Art Basel kind of put us on fast forward. It kind of put us on steroids, and we are now benefiting from that amazing halo effect after 13 years. The numbers tell the story. Before Basel in 2001, this week, more than half of Miami Beach hotel rooms were empty. That changed with Basel the very first year and kept growing. Even during the recession, hotels were selling out. And last year, the beach reached 82% occupancy for this week. Early December had gone from what was a relatively soft time of the year between the holidays to one of the most profitable times of the years. The average hotel on Miami Beach has jumped from a little over $100 to more than $400. It's great for our hotel, it's great for all the restaurants in the area, and it's great for business as a whole. The general manager of the Miami Beach Lowe's has watched the Basel story grow from the beginning. What was traditionally one of the slowest weeks of the year is now the third busiest for them. Art installations can be found all around the property because as Art Basel has proven, art is good for business. We really go all out this week to take care of our guests. They're spending a lot of money to be here. And they should be well taken care of. Art Basel continues to evolve. It's not just satellite fairs like this one going on tonight. Yes, there's still a buying frenzy going on, but it's the parties. It's become this event that you just have to be a part of. You don't necessarily have to be spending the money to buy all this great stuff, but just enjoy it because it's here, right here in our backyard. We're live in Midtown. David Sutter, CBS 4 News. It is quite an event. David, thank you. Today